everyone welcome to the course everyone can code in this video we are going to look at a problem called mask email id here we will write a method which accepts a string indicating the email id and returns the masked email id how will it look like so for example we have test mail at the rate gmail.com so the masked email id should only show the first two characters followed by all x's at the rate gmail id fairly simple right let's see how we write the code so this is the template code that you can download where we have class called mask email id 01 and we have taken a sample email id test mail at the rate mailme.com now we are passing this email id to the function mask mail id so what is the process that we are going to follow in this function as you saw you have to keep the first two letters of the mail id actually and mark the rest with x followed by the same domain at the rate mailme.com so let's say at the rate is our index point after that everything remains as it is and before that everything converts into x just leaving the first two letters so let's start with taking the index of at the rate so let's say int index is equals to email dot index of at the rate so this will give you the index at which at the rate is present in the current string and since every mail id has only one at the rate this is a very safe option to choose for any email id that you can possibly give here so after this what we do is we calculate the end id string so that is the string post at the rate so let's say string end underscore id since this is going to remain same we just take it out and store it in one variable email dot substring index so after index whatever is there just pick it up and add it to end id now to create the mask id let's create a mask string and initialize it to blank as of now now further what we need to do is we need to get the size of the characters that need to be masked so this size we need to have now as you know this portion test mail can vary for different email ids so apart from the first two characters we need to have a count of the remaining characters that need to be masked that we can get and store it in the variable size how we'll do it we again take a substring so using string some functions become fairly simple because there are predefined functions like substring that help so substring begin index will start from 2 since 0 and 1 position we need to keep intact as it is so we start from 2 and end index will be our index so 2 till at the rate we need to find the count now to find the count just call the function length on it and that is it you will get the count of all the characters that you need to mask in this email id now moving on you need to generate a string for this size that has x so for that we write a very simple for loop for int i equals to 0 and i less than size all right i plus plus now add to mask x in every iteration that is it so after you run this loop you will get the exact number of x's that needs to be replaced in the email id so now you have first two letters you have the x string stored in mask and you have the end id now you can create your mask id so we go ahead and say that mask 
is equal to for the first two characters again we'll use the function substring email dot substring 0 to 2 this will give you the first two characters plus mask plus end id all right and finally we return mask simple and straightforward right let's save this and run and we got the exact let me change the number of characters here and see if it works still fine so let's say test mail dot one two three four at the rate mail me dot com now let's run it and you get the correct output again so i hope you enjoyed this program thank you for watching and happy coding